This morning, Americans awakened to an increased threat of a government shutdown. Remind you all of a particular Bill Murray movie? Yeah, you remember that movie. Broke it or not, the clock is ticking towards September 30th when federal funding runs out and the government teeters on a shutdown. Today, that threat is more real as Republican leaders say they will approve new funding only if Obamacare is defunded. President is calling it extortion, but one of our guests, Amy Kremer, you know her, she is exuberant. Um, she is head of the Tea Party Express and she filed off this email saying we did it. After traveling the country, rallying, uh, rallying support to kill Obamacare, Kremer told supporters, quote, this is a huge victory for the Tea Party and once again proves that we are a strong force and won't be ignored. While we won this battle, the war is not over. Amy Kremer joins us now along with Jason Johnson, an HLN contributor and Hiram College political science professor. Welcome to you both. Morning. Good to be here. <laughs> okay, so Amy, you're celebrating this morning, but a lot of people are pretty angry about this. So tell them why they should be happy. Well, it is a victory. I mean, we didn't even think that leadership in the house would bring it to the floor for a vote and they're bringing it to the floor i believe tomorrow and so it's a huge victory for us it shows that when we work hard we can accomplish something and the tea party movement is still here do you really think it, it will pass in the house and then go on to the senate and pass and then hit the president's desk i think that it will pass in the house um, and they're going to vote tomorrow and hopefully it passes in the senate we have a lot of work to do in the senate and that's what we're going to be focused on over the next 10 days but why tie obamacare to the federal budget i mean we still live in a fragile economy right why why take a chance why not fight Obamacare another way. Well, one of the reasons the economy is doing so bad is because of Obamacare. The bigger question, I think, or the correct question is, why would we implement and fund a program that was passed into law three years ago and is still not ready for prime time? Even the president has admitted that because parts of it he has delayed. He's delayed for big business. He's delayed for Congress. Why not delay for middle class average Americans? Why can we not defund this, delay it for a year, and let's have that Obamacare debate that we never got to have because it was shoved down our throats. It passed so, without not one Republican vote. But it's still passed. Went to the Supreme Court. It's now the law the of the land. But, but I it. will agree with one thing Amy is saying, Jason. I, I really, in fact, polls show Americans don't understand what Obamacare is. 70% know very little about this law. Right, and most think it's a bad idea. And trust me, I was amongst one of those skeptics. But we've been seeing in Oregon, we've been seeing in Washington, in my home state of Ohio, premiums have been going down. So I think this idea that we need to scuttle the entire American government and screw up the entire economy just for this particular bill, it's not a good idea. And it's not going to work anyway. It won't pass through the Senate. And so really, this is a lot of political posturing. This is just like all the votes that defund it before. It's not going to work. Even Ted Cruz came out and he tweeted, Ted Cruz is a big Tea Party favorite. He was behind this push. Even he says, this doesn't have a chance. So why do it? I mean, I haven't seen Ted's tweet, but the thing is, two weeks ago, everybody said it didn't have a chance of getting through the House, and now we're bringing it to a vote. You, I mean, we're going to have to fight that battle, and I think that there are senators that need to be put on the spot and see where they are. This is the thing, is that Democrats are coming out against this. Max Baucus said it's a train wreck. When you have union leaders who helped promote this and sell it for the president, now they want out of it. The IRS unions want out of it. Everybody wants out of it. I mean, the president and Harry Reid need to listen to the American people and, and not worry about scoring a political victory because this is what it is to them. No one's talking about the president. It's not the Republicans that want to shut down the government. We're going to totally fund the government. It's oh, the Democrats on. that are talking about <laughs> shutting down the government. If the sequester's not rolled Obamacare back. Obamacare to a bill that would shut down the government if, it, if Obamacare's not defunded. The president has said if the sequester is not rolled back, he's going to shut down the government. Harry Reid has said the same thing. Why why is no one talking about that? This doesn't make any sense, and, and this is the problem. See, first off, you look at the Republican leadership in the House, vast majority, they weren't even around. They weren't in office at the last government shutdown. That is going to kill the Republican Party. Ted Cruz was graduating from law school when the last government shutdown happened. It's like people don't have institutional memory. I You're going to get blamed. Was in the House well, when Boehner the was the only one in the leadership, but Cantor and everybody else wasn't. This is going to be blamed on the Republican Party. This is a battle that can be fought next year. I think it's a waste of time, and the continuing resolution only goes till December 
15th anyway, we're right back at this argument right before Christmas. So this totally defunds it permanently. The continuing resolution it only funds the government, the government right. spending exactly. for, until December 15th. It's in which case we're going to be back at the same fight. Even we're, whether we're fighting about Obamacare or not, who wants to have this argument in front of Christmas? I think this is a bad idea overall. I think this can be fought for in another way. And after October 1st, when people actually have access to Obamacare, who knows, they may actually like it. They're actually not going to have access till January, but and we don't even know that the it's going to go into place. The Americans then. are already going to start Look. signing up October first, and like I said, we've already. I was a skeptic. I was a skeptic like you, but we've seen in several different states now the premiums are actually going down. The premiums at my college let, are going down. It's something. not such a bad let, idea. Let me say something. I, I will just add this, and, and what you said about people not supporting it, especially union leaders, is true. But mm -hmm. everybody who does not have health insurance now, who cannot afford health insurance now. They actually are interested in Obamacare and how it might help them. And we're talking about millions, tens of millions of people. And I want to make um, two points. Number one, that the Republicans came out yesterday with a plan to replace this out of the Republican Study Committee. And there are free market solutions that will work so that people can have yeah, access to health care. Yeah. Second thing I want to yeah. say is that in 1966, when Medicare was implemented, the cost was $3 billion. The projection of cost in 1990 was to be $12 billion. The actual cost in 1990 was $107 billion. It's going to be the same thing with this. We can't afford this. Government is not the answer. Government's a problem. We need to get out of the way and pass free market solutions that will work. Insurance across state lines, getting rid of pre-existing conditions, that sort of the thing. The problem is, is we've already debated all of these <laughs> we, issues. We this, it's amazing how they came up with these brilliant ideas at the last minute now that this is about to become policy. Well, no, because no, no. The Republicans no, they, brought but, up those ideas during the last debate the, and I, they were tossed aside by the Democrats. They were tossed I mean, let's aside. be honest about this. Yeah, they they were supplied by the Democrats. They were tossed aside because President Obama wants this. And yes, it's political points. And yes, it's also it scoring. Is. But again, we can't be disingenuous here and think that this is automatically a disaster. The president's not a dumb guy, OK? There are ways that this bill can be fixed. It can be modified once it's actually implemented and we see what happens. And when we're talking about you know projections down the road, we, we still have sequestration for 10 years. We don't know if that's going to work. So the idea of saying we know this is going to be gloom and doom in 2035 doesn't make any sense. Well, well I'll, I'll tell, tell you what. We're going to have to end it there. I'm it sorry, doesn't make any sense when they have to sell it to the American people and they're spending hundreds of million well, millions of dollars millions of dollars. And that is true. The Democrats it. have done a terrible idea of, of helping people understand what Obamacare exactly. is. Bill Clinton's going to be on what? David Letterman on Monday night? I'm sure that's what they'll be talking about. Mm -hmm. He's been tasked with this task to explain to Americans what exactly this means. So Most of us are still skeptical and, and I believe it. But again, costs have been going down in some states. It may and end up, up working 140%. out. 140% okay. in Colorado. In some I, locations. In some <laughs> locations, right. Okay, Many I got to end this, but we could go on and on. Uh, Amy Kramer, Jason Johnson, thanks so much. We'll Thanks be right back. Having us.